Hey winners, today we're going to take it from being the smelliest guy in the room to being the best smelling, smelliest guy in the room. There comes a point in every fragrance journey where every man wants to upgrade their game. They want to make fragrances a part of their style, their presentation, and they want to get something that's better quality. And usually when guys do this, I find is it's that they go for a lot of fragrances in one go. They sort of make a little mini collection. So I thought I'd make this video where I would suggest to you the best fragrances I can think of for a reasonable amount of money. I think you should spend a bit of money, go for quality over quantity is the theme of this video. So we're gonna say the budget for today is 250 pounds or roughly $300. Fragrances right now are more expensive because of COVID, I believe, and just how the world is currently. So maybe back in the day, you could have had a fifth extra fragrance in there, but today we're gonna give you four fragrances that allow you to cover every single scenario you can think of for your own life. Let's get into it. Even if you have a more established collection, bear in mind guys, these four fragrances are general staples that can add more balance to your collection. They're just great fragrances in general. So for number one, we're going for your versatile signature. When someone says a fragrance is their signature, it's the scent that people recognize you by because it's usually what you want to be associated with, what you're gonna wear every day. It's gonna be a versatile fragrance. Mancera's Cedrat Boise. This is very versatile as well as sexy. It is musky, masculine, fruity blackcurrant and lemon combined with a smoky leather. It is balanced, it's gonna be usable pretty much all year round, maybe not in really intense heat, but overall it's just a very easy to wear masculine dumb reach. You just go for it anytime you don't know what to wear uh, and you get a good performance about eight hours and you get a lot of compliments. This is basically my most complimented <laughs> fragrance in my entire collection. So I think Cedar Boise is still fantastic. It's Mancera's, I think, most popular fragrance for a reason. They took the Creed Aventus DNA and gave it more character, in my opinion, and it's obviously a lot more uh, worth the money than Aventus, in my opinion. Bear in mind, guys, you'll actually be seeing a public reaction video this Sunday where we put these two head to head. Next is going to be your evening wear. When someone says a fragrance is for the evening, they generally consider fragrances to be either for a date night scenario or just a general evening occasion, such as going for food with friends, or you're going for a, a special event, let's say a black tie event. So I think this fragrance here is, again, one of my most complimented DNAs. <laughs> the Eau de Toilette, the original, got me a lot of compliments. It's long lasting, and it covers all the scenarios you can use for any of those things there. It's Armani Code, the new Eau de Parfum. This is a classical, safe, smooth blend of leather, sweet tonka bean, vanilla, and citruses. It's a traditional manly cologne that has a bit of maturity to it, a lot of elegance and sexiness. As I said, the Eau de Toilette used to give me the most compliments out of my collection for a long time, and Eau de Parfum just improves on it in my opinion. It's getting better performance now, better blend, and as I said, the versatility from being both sexy and elegant means you can wear it for all those evening scenarios I previously listed. Then in the evening, traditionally most people consider having a louder fragrance for events like gigs or festivals or clubbing or even just parties in general where you, you want a fragrance that is going to grab people's attention. It's worth having a fragrance like that. So my bottle is on its way. I've had a sample of this which I've just found fantastic. Give me so many compliments of Azaro the Most Wanted. It sort of takes the Stronger With You DNA, but makes it have a bit more character. It's, it's very fresh, green, and citrusy in the opening, which balances out with a very sweet base later on with ambers, woods, vanilla. Uh, so I think it's just beautifully balanced, extremely sexy. People say, you know, you smell so sexy when you wear this fragrance. Somebody said, I, I smell like sex whilst wearing this fragrance. So that's just the kind of compliment you can get with this. It lasts a very good, long time, maybe over eight hours. It's a loud projector. It is currently the best in the Azara Wanted line, in my opinion. And I think I would take this over Versace Eros any day. You may see in most other videos people recommend Eros for the clubbing fragrance. I would recommend this instead. And finally, as previously mentioned, Cetra Boise may not work extremely well in the extreme heat, 
That's where most people suggest that you have a lighter summer fragrance. However, I also suggest that you usually have a more easy to wear, professional, inoffensive office fragrance. I'm gonna say this last fragrance is gonna cover both of those scenarios. So professional school or office, as well as just being very easy to wear in the higher temperatures. Versace Pour Homme. This is such a classic and safe DNA. It's clean citruses with musks and neroli, which is a very clean, white floral top note that smells very beautiful. So this is a very beautiful classical man scent that again is very safe. It's a dumb reach. This could also be your versatile signature, but it's not as heavy as Cedra Boise. So it may struggle a bit in winter time, but for all year round office or school use, you can't go wrong with this. Six to eight hours of longevity with soft to moderate projection. Um, you, you will just most likely love this. I think this is a safe blind buy. If you want to start off with one particular fragrance in this for um, fragrances lineup, you can go with the Versace Pour Homme. Honestly, still to this day, a classic and perfect summer and office wear fragrance. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. You should have seen the websites and the pricing for each fragrance throughout this video with the, uh, the names of the fragrances. At the end, you'll have five pounds to spare. The total should come to 245 pounds. So go ahead and buy yourself an ice cream or instead of 100 mils of fragrances, you can buy yourself 100 mils of petrol in today's economy because those prices are going crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to check out our other videos in the meantime, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.